Hey, YouTube people and fellow spies. Um, it's me, Geoff. I've returned after a bit of turbulence. Um, so, uh, let's see, what is the typical YouTube intro? Welcome back to Spy Fox in Dry Serial, the first Spy Fox game. This is the second episode of my first playthrough for YouTube. Um, so... We, I ran into some technical difficulties. Let me catch you up. Um, last time I was uh, recording, um, I was testing out for like a half hour and the audio just didn't sound right. And But I like adjusted it a bunch. So I finally, I was like, maybe it's all in my head. I can still kind of hear myself in this clip. I'm just going to go ahead and record. I recorded, lo and behold, it was not, um, it was not in my head. Uh, the audio is so bad that you practically can't hear it. So that's what this is. This is me ha having <clears throat> played further. And um, I just went back and um, sort of using some cheat codes, I sort of recreated my old save, which I had foolishly saved over previously. So um, I, I've returned to this and um, we're rough. We're roughly in an identical save game. It, everything's the exact same that it was. The only difference is mobile commit. Happy fun. Um, a little break from the spot. The only difference is, is I good. lost my. Uh, oh no, I didn't. It's right here. I, I guess this must be global. How nice. All right. Well, in that case, we lost nothing. All right. So last time we rescued Mr. Utterly from the quote-unquote feta cheese factory and probed his disgusting innards to find that we need some sort of key to stop the milky weapon of destruction and uh, the domination of the world at the hand of the Nectar of the Goats Corporation. So we are back. We have uh, our x-ray gum, but no other spy gadgets, but we have a, a wide assortment down there. And um, you'll have to forgive me. I don't exactly remember what I did and what I didn't do last time, or as far as like like things I said so if I repeat like I'm gonna try to repeat everything that I said um, but if I repeat anything I already said in the real first episode then I'm sorry all right so as you can see um, the town square is a little more lively on this sleepy little Greek island of acidophilus which by the way is I think some sort of bacteria or enzyme involved in milk or something it's some sort of pun I have no idea but we have this trinket booth open so let's uh Say hello. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be of service to you, <laughs> oh honorable visitor, to this, our dear island home? I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves on having the island's finest selection of rare and hard to find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. Our thoughts exactly. Oh my god, because all the 10 year olds playing this game are going to know exactly what you're talking about. I love it. Um, <laughs> so in the previous, okay, I was gonna, the other thing is that it's probably a blessing in disguise I lost my last episode because I was, after testing around and being so frustrated, I was feeling really out of it and it wasn't even, I don't feel like I did a good job commentating, so I'm kind of glad, honestly. Um, I was so out of it, I didn't realize this guy's name was Gilbert. I was calling him Clive which I kind of knew wasn't his real name, but I don't know. I just thought he was Clive, but he does have a name. His name is Gilbert. Say, do you happen to have any white marble cycladic figurines from either Siphanos or Syros <laughs> dating somewhere between 2800 to 2300 what BC? What the fuck? I have no idea what you are talking <laughs> about, sir. Perhaps there is something else I could interest you in? What is that all about? What's the difference between a souvenir and a trinket? Souvenir is a French word meaning to remember. Trinket is a Middle English word which means small shoemaker's knife. I hope that clears it up for you, sir. Mm, it does, I think. Could you tell me a little about those pennants? Yes, those are actual pennants weighed by Emperor Theodosius himself at the 393 AD Olympics. <laughs> it says trinket. Sir, could I interest you in this nice looking, uh, shoot, what are they called? It has something to do with the sound seltzers make when you plop them into water. Fizz? Yes, exactly. Can I interest you in a nice fizz? 
Very nice, very nice. I actually had a friend who looked disturbingly um, like Gilbert here, except um, not quite so pudgy, and you know, he wasn't a rabbit, but otherwise, what dead ringer is kind of scary. Do with and like, he had that exact treat. shirt. It could be a paperweight. You could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. Good lord. Okay. Well, so that's open, and we have the Greek Cantina. It says happy hour, seven to nine. And of course, we have the Cantina as well. Hi, honey. Welcome to the Cantina. I'm B Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know. All right. Thanks, B. Okay, last playthrough was a different special. What's the special today, B? Fat free egg foo not so young anymore. <laughs> How's the fat free egg foo not so young anymore? Fat not so egg foo and not so young. Anymore. <laughs> Exactly how old is the egg food not so young anymore? <laughs> we'll be celebrating its 37th birthday on August 24th. <laughs> Your chef sure has a creative streak in his destiny. You should see what he does to an omelet. It would send shivers down your spine. Oh my god. No I love in this game. Fat free egg foo not so young anymore? Oh, there's a ton of fat in it. We just don't charge you for it. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh so I feel like there might be something a little wrong with the way Scumbium is emulating this particular graphic because it looks a little off to me. But I don't know, I could be wrong. I think it doesn't handle transparency well or something. What's the trophy for? That's my cockadoodle foo trophy. I took lessons from Master Hong Kong Doodle, at least until I punched his stuffing out. Oh my. It says entertainment the tango. Honey, after 60 straight days of tangos, it's no okay, longer okay, entertainment. Anything but another tango. So, what do you suggest from the menu? Last time I suggested something, I got sued <laughs> for malpractice. So my attorney advised me not to make any more suggestions. Uh, <laughs> that line really cracks me up. Um, What's the story with the gravity challenge card player over there? Oh, oh gravity challenge. That's Mr. Big Pig. The local mud baron. He's a notorious go fish player. The only thing he ever loses is his temper. Yeah, the one thing that I'm a little sad I missed uh, well, last time. Between you and me, sweetie, let's just say it's no coincidence that you don't see any rats in this part of town. Oh my god. Uh, the one thing I do m am, am sad that I miss is. Like, I don't think I'd ever heard that malpractice line before, or if I did, I didn't understand it, and I pretty much Reject. lost my shit when I, when I heard it. Uh, that's a really, really good uh, line. I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time, and you are... Artemis J. Artemis J. Please make your acquaintance, sir. Please make your acquaintance, sir. We make this game a little more interesting. interesting. Would you care to play for some trinkets? I love his I'm voice. There's something so sitting about it. Would you care to play for some oh, trinkets? Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Why don't you come back? the game so much more interesting. All right, all right. What's this gecko doing here? So, you like playing the tango, do you? Oh, yeah. The tango really swings <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> Plus, it's the only tango. sheet music I have. The people here must really love the tango. Yeah, they do, crazy fox guy. Though oh, they crazy cat or crazy Play something else, fox. play something else. But hey, the tango is all I got. The people here must really love the tango. Yeah, okay. but hey. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything we can do right now. All right, so we could get some trinkets, but I think let's continue on here. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here. This text, podium, text is really hard to read. Filthy, eagle-stained dock, talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat. No, it belongs to my boss. Okay. Looks like a pretty fancy yacht. Fancy would be an understatement, sir. Unfathomably luxurious might be a closer description. Well, okay. 
pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board? Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get <laughs> lost. Okay. Gather information about the deck party with this. Well, let's let's just ask him directly about it. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm from a long line of aristocratic rodents. So why are you a doorman? I enjoy being a doorman, sir. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so uh, I was wondering last time what he was, but I think like multiple characters thereafter called him a weasel, and I don't think they they were being derogatory. I think he actually just says a weasel. Oh, excuse me. Let's help with these piranhas. That makes the piranha pool hotter. Yes, I remember. Thank you, Spy Fox. Let's uh, make them a little toasty. They're from the Amazon, so they must be used to like boiling hot water. Let's have a little power. Okay, so you know how Monkey Penny keeps talking about hey, William the Kid's overdue Black library database, books? William the Kid has three I found out there's a reason because that's really weird that she only talks about that. And I learned that it's actually an error in the game's code. And she she does have like five other lines she's supposed to say. Um, I, if I can remember, I'll try to put a link in the description to a video that shows off all the unused lines. Although... If you watch it now, you'll get a spoiler for some later stuff in the game, so maybe I'll put it in a later video description? I don't know. <clears throat> we'll figure it out. Alright, let's, uh, let's ask around about this weasel. Do you happen to know how to get invited to that deck party on the SS Deadweight? I haven't a clue, Mr. Fox. I'd try hobnobbing around town if I were you. It's You're been a long time since I heard about hobnobbing. Roundup, Thanks, but that doesn't help me solve the crisis. <laughs> That's very sweet. We're invited to the Amalgamated Mujus Incorporated, uh, what do you said, holiday party or something? Sorry, I missed it. That was great, though. Monkey Penny. Do you have any idea how I might get an invitation to the deck party over at the SS Deadweight? I hear it's hard to get even a copy of one. Good luck, Spy Fox. Well, I don't need a copy of one. I need an actual one, unless she's trying to be coy you here. To know how to oh, get I, I missed this line. Spy around town if you're real. Good plan. Oh, wait. Come on. He's not going to invite us again? No, I stopped getting invited to parties when I was a cow. Party pooper, huh? Is he not gonna invite us again? Have you ever been invited to no party? Well, whatever. You can rewind if you want to see it. Have you ever been in no party? All right, whatever. Let's see if Professor Quack knows anything. Quack, what do you know about getting an invitation to that deck party on the SS Deadweight? Deadweight? What? If it doesn't concern my gadgets, I doubt I know anything about it. Well, fine, fine, Professor Quack. How about you, Pelican Man? I don't know anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? Want to see my tattoo? Oh my god. Your mother must be so proud. Chestception? Or in chest in chestion? Um, okay, I would like to purchase this jar of trinkets. Apparently we'll need them. Now, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'll take it. What a deal. God, Gilbert, you, go, you really are a fucking Why, sleazeball, you. aren't you? Alright, I could ask him about the invitation, but I kind of want to ask some people in the cantina first.
what's with the weasel over by the SS Deadweight? He won't let me go to the deck party. Oh, honey, you won't get in the door without an exclusive invitation. Funny, though, the rabbit out at the souvenir stand always gets invited to those swank parties. Does oh, really? he now? I'll remember that. You wouldn't think that a trinket peddler would be that high in the social strata. I don't imagine that weasel of a doorman shows his face around here. <laughs> oh, no way, man. Nada. Uh-uh. Sorry. Bye-bye. That guy will treat you like a king if you have an invitation. Otherwise, you may as well be a piece of dry toast. Dry toast. Okay, then. Well, it sounds like we know who to talk to. But Tell I... me about the weasel over at the SS Deadweight. You tread on dangerous ground, little fox. That's Little Fox. I recommend steering clear of those Necker of the Goats gatherings. The guest list is exclusive for a good reason. Hmm, I suspect that my arch nemesis, William the Kid, must be involved. Well, while we're here, why don't we take a little break and Would play, some, play some trinkets? Go I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes I like to play a fox who likes to play for trinkets with a pig. Play short play trinkets on the table trinkets. and we'll get started. All right. So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right. I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. Well, thank I you. I play with this one. I can't lie, I kind of have, I'm a little bit obsessed with some of the trinkets in this. Like, these are pretty boring, but some of them are pretty interesting. Got any sevens? Okay. So if you're not Got familiar with Go Fish, I mean, you just ask for cards until you win, basically. <laughs> and if someone asks you for something, you need to draw, which is Go Fish. And if you draw what you wanted, you get to go again. Or if you just get, or if you uh, get what you wanted from your opponent. Got any five? So I'm gonna start with a basic scan of all my starting cards. Got any four? Go fish. Got any threes? All right, let's try nine. Got any nines? Ooh, we're doing pretty well. Got any sixes? A card. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna guess sevens because once you get four, no, you. Get a set. Got any eights. Um, so Go having fish. three is very precarious because if somebody gets, um, Got somebody gets them, no, so you're kind of no screwed because they'll just take it from you and then they'll have a whole set. Got any king? Well, fuck you. Got any four? Nice try, but you need to go fish. I don't remember if he had Got kings or not. I don't know if I asked for them. Okay, I guess he does. Uh, let's go sevens again? Seven? I don't know. Go fish. Hmm. Eights. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Must have taken quite a bit of work to program all of this. Nine? Go fish, Mr. Fox. I mean, it's a perfectly functioning card game. Hmm. Ooh. Got any ten? Nope. Go I fish. I hope he doesn't get it, and then we can get Got his ace. I'll just take those. Beautiful. All right. Um. Let's Got get any some threes? <laughs> Go fish. I love uh -huh. this game. Got a set. Got any jacks? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. Hmm. Okay, got so that means he got what he wanted. Go fish. He's not like showing it to us to you may prove be a shrewd player, sir. But I hope you don't mind if I hog all the winnings. <laughs> this guy should do ASMR. There's something got about his voice. Twos? No, sir. Go fish. Got any sixes? So I don't really mind if he gets the lower, like if he, he guesses something that I have less than three of, because that will still, still have a good chance of getting it. What a fun game this is! Um, I guess I'll guess fives then. Not a one Go fish. The other thing is if you I've guess, yeah, see, because there were more fives in the pile, there was a higher chance of me drawing one. So there is a benefit to. Um, Guessing things that there's not a whole lot of. Got oh, does he have sixes? Does he have aces? I, I don't you think he's were good at this asked. Game. Go fish. I don't think he's asked for aces yet. Got any Let's see. aces? Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Got any tens? 
What a fun game this Ooh, is. okay. Got any sevens? Making some progress. Fish, Mr. Box. I have a lot of cards, but not a lot of sets. It's making me nervous. Got any... Ugh, fuck you. Got any fours? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Okay. I'm Got feeling twos. Go fish, sir. Ugh, suits me just fine. Yes. Got any eight? <laughs> go fish. Got any aces? Got any okay. four? Can take go these fish. kings back. Got any kings? That would make a That's six. One set of cards taken care of. What about tens Got any now? Tens? Not a one sir. Go fish. Got any fives? Hmm. Got any jacks? Go fish. I must apologize, <sighs> sir. I am rather good at this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, he just completed a set. He didn't Got get a jack. Sixes. I'll just take those off your hands. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Let's try Got threes. Got any threes? No, sir. Go fish. Got any aces? Nope. Go fish. Ah, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. Got any fours? Nice try, but you need to go fish. I like how his expression changes as the Got game gets more intense, especially like if you're I'll just take those off if you're your doing hand. well. Got any eight? A card. Thank you so much. That's one set of cards taken care of. Right, Got any queen? Queen. Not a one sir. Go fish. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. All right, it looks like we're very likely to win, but nope, I don't want to speak too soon. Of course, there's not much point in getting these trinkets, but it's pretty fun. They don't count as real items, but they, it'd be fun if they did. Go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any fours? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Hard up on these fours. Sevens? No, sir. Go fish. This suits me just fine. Hmm, got any ten? Well, shit. <laughs> I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Got any fours? Go fish. <laughs> got any sevens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. I love oh, this Oh my god, am I good or am got I good? Threes? What a fun game All right, is. now we're I've out of cards, so I think the game is over. Fish. I'm not. I, I think. Win. I think there's some. I think there's oh, some variance right. to what the end game is in Go Fish, but in this page. version, you kind of see All what the right, other. Mr. Big Pig, let's see who takes home the bacon this Aww, time. Oh, look at the little mm. snow glow. <laughs> No whistle. These are lame compared to last time. Last time we had a, um, what was it? A, I think we had like a butterfly and he had like a pink now umbrella. I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Wait, why would you want to do that? What? What's going on? Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I thought he was okay. I hate to leave such a challenging opponent, but I have some bigger fish to catch right now. Do you mind if I leave my jar of trinkets here? Go right ahead, sir. Come back any time. Well, that's fun. I love these little mini games, and that's one of the better ones. Even though it's it's not particularly strategic, but it's a good time. Putt Putt surprisingly has some good mini games. This does Freddy Fish. on one moment if you please i need to check on something okay sorry about that i thought i heard my roommate come home in which case i would want to make sure that he knows recording all right well it seems like mr gilbert here has uh i noticed that there was a may have an going invitation on down on that big ship at the docks but I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? 
Why, yes, I would love to look at it. I remember um, when I first played this game as a young child, um, I think he was like randomly the first guy I used that talk balloon on and lo and behold he had it, which is surprising because you would think someone at like the cantina would have it or something. I'm sure you'll have a good time at the deck party. Yes, I intend to trip the lights fantastic on the dance floor. Do you think it would be okay if I borrowed your invitation? Of course not. This was sent to me and me alone. I'm so impressed. I'm trying that you to look at what the names are there. Party. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No, I have chosen one of my finest all cotton t-shirts to wear. I think that says that SS Deadweight and Russian Blue. Muscles. I'm sure. Oh my. Well, well, however nice your pectoral muscles are, they're probably not as nice as your uh, neighbors, to be honest. Um, so let's How see. How much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. Free stuffed kitty litter? By God, I've got to get that. I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah. 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 Okay, well he's distracted at least. Yes, you can. Okay. I just remembered that you need a license to own a cat on this island. Even a stuffed toy cat. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to keep thinking of a solution. I'll be right back. All right, we have returned. All right, so apparently we need to make a copy of the invitation, and uh, we just might have some resources for that, if memory serves anyway. How does this spy putty work again? Okay, the spy putty is especially helpful to use if you need a copy of some sort of document. Just press down on whatever you need to copy and peel it off. But please don't use this on cats. Nobody likes a copy cat. Oh, that's terrible, Professor Quack. <laughs> this is the safest way to keep a secret. Why did that say keep actor secret? The spy putty. All right, let's give this thing a shot. I'm really sorry if it feels like I'm like replaying something I've already played before because truth is it has been several years since I played this game, but now it's only been a week, so you might be able to feel it a little bit. Gadget. All right, um, we tried the cat. I wonder what it would be like to steer a ship with one of those. Buy it and you may have a hands-on experience. Wait a minute, is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. Oh boy. Uh, let's try getting this fizz hat. How much for the fez? As it turns out, this fez isn't for sale, sir. This is our floor model. In fact, it's been on the floor several times, <laughs> and we have a dirty floor. Okay, well, can I buy these pennants? How much for one of those pennants? They are quite rare. They cost seven million drachmas. Do you have seven million drachmas? Not on me. Then it does not look as though you will be buying one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, he didn't have the thing one out. stuffed cat, please. Better make it to go. Would you like fries with that? No, thanks. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah. Ah. My bad. Okay, I, I, I fucked this up. Ah. <laughs> oh, forget it. I didn't realize he would actually be jumping. All out of the stuffed kitty dolls. Uh, it doesn't look like you're out of them. Look at that Looks like you have at least one, but okay. Again? All right, but try not to make this a habit. <laughs> He's so proud. All right, let's buy this steering wheel. needs a little direction right now. I think I'll buy that steering wheel. Let me wrap that up for you. Ah. Ah. All right. I feel like this required a lot of dexterity for me as a kid. I was like panicking. Ugh, beautiful. Oh, forget it. The sound design oh, for this game is forgot. so good. This is not just the local trinket emporium. It is also this island's maritime museum, and I'm not allowed to let anyone touch the exhibits. 
I'm glad you remembered in time. You're about to sell it to me. Good lord. All right. Let us get on this motherfucking ship. Ugh, this is very disturbing to me. It's also very unnerving if you want to have any faith in the uh, structural integrity of the dock you're standing on. Not you again! How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! A mirror of some you think they would. Yay! Yay! I can't even go that high. Yay! Yay! Sorry. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please feel free to come and go as you wish. Why? Thanks. My fox looks How pissed. What a weasel. <laughs> Your shoelace is untied. What? Impossible. Oh, how could I let this happen? Oh, ho. The foxy gentleman teases with me. How crafty he is. Okay. Oh, I think I need to do my laundry now that I think about it. Have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. So the captions but keep saying course. monsieur, so like French. So I'm guessing that that was the original script or something that the voice actor the thought that Before sir sounded I better. The festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Oh, uh, snappy. All right, let's see here. You must be Russian blue, noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadway. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to, and that is the tango. I love the tango. I Do love. You know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Interesting. I've never done the math on that. <laughs> so I think, um, I, can gather information about I feel like Russian Blue Russian is, like, the only real love interest in the Spy Fox series. And, um, I really like her character. She's pretty cool. But I think she's only in this game. I don't think she's in Spy Fox 2 or Spy Fox 3. Or at least that's what I said last time. And then I realized just like just now, I think she's in one of the Spy Fox arcade games. I think she's the main villain of Cheese Chase. And so it's nice that she's at least in one other game. Hello, I want to compliment you on your band. You sure know how to liven up a party. You play with such a passionato. Thank you, sir. It's always nice when one of the guests is a fellow music lover. I hope you will enjoy the party. I really, um, I really like this song. Pardon me. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Pajama Sam. I don't know if Pajama Sam uses a similar a one, song at one two, point three, or something. A one, two, three, a one, two, three. Oh boy. You seem to have a gift for rhythm. You seem to have a gift for interrupting. Well, I'm very good at it. Tell me about your passion for the tango. The tango is the dance of love, Mr. The dance of love. It speaks of passion and caprice. Caprice, it's that's so good. To be the only dance I no one says caprice anymore. Oh, I think I, I keep talking over important lines. Thankfully, I have the captions on. I can't believe I was not gonna do the captions. I feel like they're indispensable now. I kind of love this. I don't know what this is. I missed like what the flag was. Oh, gamble. Oh, 
Alright, well... I think in this particular uh, playthrough of the game, there's no point uh, to this room besides learning about climate change, so let's get out of here. Alright, so we know that Russian Blue loves the tango, but we don't really know much else. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the Spy Corps computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find something. Okay, well, we have this talk balloon. I guess we'll start gathering some information. Tell me about Russian Blue, Maestro. She throws a party like none other. I hear that a good tango puts a spell over her, too. What do you mean? Oh, it's all the rumors, you see. This crowd prefers a waltz anyway. I see. Thank you, sir. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian Blue's movements. Okay, we can go do that. I think I'll mention her to this weasel first. What do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional relationship. She's my employer, you see? Yes, I realize that. What are her hobbies? Of course, there's always the tango, her passion in life. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian Blue's movements. Fox is really insistent on on this. But come on. You can't be telling me this guy doesn't know. I don't know anything about that. But do you want to see my tattoo? <laughs> so hot. <laughs> I'm curious what Gilbert says about her, because that he should know her if he goes what to these do you parties. Know about Russian blue? I know that her greatest passion in life is the tango. It virtually puts her into a trance. That's why I'm taking tango lessons. I see. All right, well, we're getting a strong uh, narrative here regarding Russian Blue's affinity for the tango. What do you know about Russian Blue, Mr. Utterly? You mean that fruity drink they serve at the cantina? Can't stand it. It curdles my stomachs, if you must know. Never mind, Mr. Utterly. Hmm, okay. Have you heard of Russian Blue, Professor Quack? Huh? Do you mean that fancy drink they serve at the cantina? Yep, I've had one. Thanks anyway. I'll let you get back I'm surprised they even vaguely reference anything resembling an alcoholic drink. Even though they're not saying it's alcoholic. Monkey Benny, what can you tell me about this Russian Blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's what the Spy Corps database has on Name. Russian Blue. She also goes by New Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Occupation. Owner and operator of the SS Deadweight. Head of public relations for NOG. Close associate of William the Kid. And one, Bad Kitty. Known felonies? Indecent tangling. Mm, she looks Acquitted. like she was a stray there. With intent to tango. Acquitted. J tangling. Acquitted. Tangling out of season. Acquitted. Comment. Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. Interesting. It sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still, why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs into her purse? Then we can trace her movements all over the island. Walter Wireless is ready to go. Walter hey, Wireless, Walter. yay! You need Russian blue followed? I'm your I love Walter Wireless. I'm like fleas on a dog, or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Glad to have you aboard, Walt. Hop in. So Walter Wireless is one of the try uh, is one of the tracking bugs of Spy Corps. I absolutely love him. That's not going to do me any good. Can you put him in the vending machine? That's not okay, going to do me not. any good. Do you mind if I take the Asti Spumoni for a little spin? I still haven't repaired it from the last time you took it for a little spin and spun it into that hen house. Check back with Oh me my, on. is I'll that like a like a brothel reference? I thought a hen house was a brothel. What have you been up to, Spy Fox? Maybe I'm reading too much into that line. Ooh, there's other spies about. That's kind of scary, actually. Okay, so we have a tracking bug, but... 
I'm not exactly sure how to get it on. What if we put him here? Okay. Well, can we just sneak it onto Russian Blue? I need to distract Russian Blue so she'll set her purse down first. Hmm, okay. Well, if you recall, we may have a source for some tango music in the cantina. Could I borrow your tango music? <laughs> Absolutely, you kooky kid, if I had some other sheet music. But this is all I have, and the music must go on. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So, B, I imagine you've heard of Russian Blue. Heard of her? <laughs> <laughs> Russian yeah, Blue's a living tango. legend on the island of Acidophilus. Spill some beans for me, then. <laughs> Not that I'd accuse her of any shenanigans. But she runs with a dangerous crowd. Excuse me, what do you know about Russian blue? I got the music in me. Ow, ow. I got the music in me. Okay. What? Russian blue. Do you know her? That cat tangles like there's no tomorrow. Let's see if what Big Pig has to say. Do you know a Ms. Russian Blue, sir? I do. Can you offer any information? Hmm, it depends on your game, little fox. Russian Blue is known to be acquainted with William the Kid. Yes, as in Nectar of the Goats, William the Kid. It's very interesting because even Big Pig seems a little scared of Nectar of the Goats. He's a mud baron, but even he is a little intimidated. Right. Well, the solution to this little problem is probably obvious to you, the viewer. But we obviously have to steal a little waltz before. music to exchange it for some tango music. Man, I honestly, I love kicking back and listening to this game soundtrack. I know that sounds weird, but it's just great. Here we go. Hey, what would you think about playing something a little slower for a change? Like I told you, man, I would if I could. So, unless you've got some new sheet music for me, the tango extravaganza continues. Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. You are beautiful, baby. Don't go changing. Oh Give my. this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tabaruni, sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. Oh. All right, well. <laughs> I said that Russian Blue was his only love interest, but, uh... I don't know. I was I was picking up a vibe there. I think there was a bit of a spark. I don't know. Am I crazy? I just ship it. Well, anyway, thankfully we have some tango music now, and we can uh, see if we can put it to good use. You stop that now. Pardon me. I thought one of the pages was about to fall. <laughs> so the timing of this is kind of precise and interesting because you have to, like, start approaching when he's still facing you. Hmm. I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. <laughs> Alright, so she's put her bag down. Oh, oh, oh. I love to tango, but now I must attend. She reminds me a lot of Mirage from the Incredibles. Thank you for the divine tango, Miss Blue. 
And um, I'm sure you could hear that, but I, I do love how they actually... It is the same song. They just... I have to say, you oh. certainly have a unique conducting style. Thank you, sir. It runs in my family. My father was a train conductor. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy. Okay. I was trying to... The, um... I was wondering if you were classically trained. Yes, while other dogs were at the obedience school, I was Okay, at the I, I thought you could like replay the tango music, but maybe not. I learned how to roll over and play Beethoven. Uh ha ha. But um Anyway, if you if you heard it all, it, it is indeed the uh Can you play an instrument? Oh, I've been known to pick up a trumpet every now It is indeed the same tango music that was playing in the cantina, it's just a different instrumentation. Again. All right, well, I guess maybe in another time, in another playthrough, maybe we'll all try to listen to it some more. I better answer my spy watch. It could be about my dry cleaning. Please stand by. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information you may need to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. We interrupt this program to bring you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. I love Just how she has ago, sardines Russian in there. Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We have just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute. The car seems to be slowing down. Yes, uh -oh. it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh, no. My cover has been compromised. Mayday. Mayday. For Spycore News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. I love Walter Wireless. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's that? Well, I guess Did that's Steve, the cameraman, the camera sure bug. Did. I didn't know that he Steve, came with him. Pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting well, for finally. you in the town square, just behind the mobile We need to hit up the hen house. Better hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about Why is, is he informant. dead now? Harry, by the Feta Factory. Right, by the I'm Feta in there factory. like swimwear, Spy Fox. Ugh, I love that line. I'm in there like swimwear. I need to say that more often in my daily life. Because I, I don't think kids would really get the meaning. But there's definitely meaning there. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like that's enough for one episode. We were almost at an hour. And so the car is here. And um, we're about to go on. A, a, we're going to get a little deeper into the story here. So I think this is probably a good uh, time to save. And this time I'm going to save elsewhere. Just in case. GIF. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying this game half as much as I am. I love it so much. I am sorry if my uh, my reactions are a little less authentic, but uh, I promise you, uh, in genuine truth, I was very much enjoying this playthrough. So I will see you next time. I'm get I'm I'm guessing we'll we'll have about five five episodes. Um, now that I now that I'm getting a better grasp on the pacing for this game. It's definitely longer than I thought it would be, but that's a-okay by me. Well, I'll see you guys next time, and thank you so much for watching. Hope you're doing well out there. Feel free to comment or whatever, but no pressure. Bye for now.